Hey folks, how you doing? This is Mahesh. And today I'm gonna unbox and install the Noctua NH U2LA Chromax Black CPU Cooler. This is the final say in single tower air coolers, the best of the best. So, it comes with two of the premium fans, the NF A2O. It supports every CPU socket known to man. Max RPM is 2000, max airflow is 60 CFM. Comes with two install guys, one for AMD, another for Intel. Intel mounting bars. This is the AMD mounting kit and the mounting bars. Intel mounting kits. Intel backplate. Mounting this cooler on AMD motherboards is so much easier. Here we get a metal case sticker. 4 pin splitter cable. Low noise adapter. These cables make the fans run slower or even less noise. Here's a tube of thermal paste. And here we have the cooler. Looks like the fins bend easily. Because a lot of the fins on the edges are bent. But they can be easily fixed. It has seven heat pipes. The included fans are black and sleek. And they look very similar to the gentle typhoons. Has a 4 pin connector. So, to remove the current cooler and install this new one, I'll be using these items some cotton buds, toilet paper, isopropyl alcohol, microfiber cloth. After removing the existing cooler, there is a lot of thermal paste on the CPU. But it's a lot less than I expected, so I'm just gonna use the microfiber cloth and gently wipe the stuff away. Now I'm going to put some isopropyl alcohol on the cloth. This alcohol gets rid of the thermal paste much faster, as you can see. Next, I put some alcohol on a cotton bud and wipe the thermal paste overflow around the edges of the CPU. And finally it's done. There's some paste still left around the edges, but that, that's not a big issue. I forgot to remove the mounting bars from a previous cooler. So to mount the Noctua onto this AM4 second motherboard, these are all the items I'll be needing. First get the mounting bar. I run these screws through these grey plastic standoffs. Now 
Now attach the two bars to the four metal standoffs around the CPU socket. Next get the thermal paste and squeeze out a drop right in the middle of the CPU. Now gently place the cooler on top of the CPU, making sure the crossbar screws fall into the metal standoffs in the middle of the mounting bars. Use the provider screwdriver and gently tighten the two screws back and forth. Three turns on one screw and then three on the other, so the, so the cooler gets tightened evenly. The manual says you should tighten the screws till they stop, but don't use excessive force. Now attach the fans using the provided fan clips like so. Don't forget to fix the fan cables to the motherboard headers. If you install the cooler in the right direction, there will be plenty of space for your RAM. Unfortunately, the install guide doesn't mention the correct orientation for the cooler. Make sure to look at my video and install like this. So it works, but I wasn't happy with the temps I was getting with my Ryzen 5800X processor. So I decided to remove the cooler, clean up all the thermal paste and reseed it. But this time I'm going to use this Prolimatech PK3 thermal compound instead of the stock Noctua NTH1 tube. The PK3 tube is unused, but I had it for around 10 years, so I'm worried it might not work properly. Only one way to find out. Here I have applied a dot of the PK3 in the middle. And instead of knock two fans, I'm going to use these gentle typhoons. These are slightly higher max RPM and static pressure and airflow, but they're also louder than the knock tours. So this time I'm seeing around 5 degrees drop in CPU temps at idle and medium loads compared to when using the knock two fans and thermal paste. However, at maximum stress points in the Prime95 blend test, it still hit 90 degrees. Room temps are around 27 degrees. So here's a comparison of the noise levels of the Noctua and Gentle Typhoon fans running at max RPM. Use the link in the description to purchase the products in this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.